Pretty, oh my crikey, Charlie's! Look at that! Crazy, completely and utterly critterific, spiderific, crazy. Never seen anything like it in this perspective. Okay, time for a very different perspective of spiders and critters using the AU Pro 90 High Performance Industrial Boroscope, or some may call it a bore camera. It records stills video and also while you're recording video it records audio. This standalone bore camera has a fantastic 5 inch LCD display that's easy to see in full sunlight and you'll see an example of that later in the video. This device is on loan to me from a long term friend who was very keen for me to get a new perspective of my pet redback spider who's called Barbie. This video was generated on the second day of me playing with this very useful and easy to use tool. It's sold as a kit to assist the inspection of weapons and it's got a very thin camera probe. And that's very important to inspect small caliber metal tubes that have rifling inside. I'm doing my best to avoid those obvious trigger words that annoy YouTube. Okay, let's do it. Barbie's about to start on this bug. It's going to play still for a bit because the the bug doesn't like being in here. Barbie is just oh just about to take action here. There's Barbie there, and what she can see of the bug, and she's going to do some back leg action like we've never seen it before. If I can keep the camera in the right place, of course. There she is, putting out the web there. Look at that perspective of that. Oh, look at the look at the pinches on that thing. I think Barbie would have to be very, very careful there. Uh, she probably knows. Oh, crikey, this is uh, crazy because I've got to just keep thinking where to to poke the the camera here. I, I want to see Barbie, but I also want to see that critter. There we go, she's doing more web there. Going out the back there and there's the uh, the critter just, and there's the egg sac of course. Oh, the critter's actually got onto the egg sac. Oh my crikey, this could be a major, major development there. It's just taken a big chopper. Man, nature's uh, pretty, oh my crikey, Charlie's, look at that. That's really, Unbelievable! I tell you what, this thing is just going for the egg sack. Oh. Now Barbie's going to want to try and get a bite, and let me get back on the Barbie here. Crikey! I'm just still learning how to use this, and I'm just trying to chase Barbie around. Okay, she's doing a bit of web maintenance. I get back to that that critter there. It's, oh my crikey, it's just putting in giant chomps into the egg sac there. Whew. Barbie's going to be split between, well, I've got a feed here, but I've also got to try and protect the egg sac, which is just really getting hammered. Oh man. I know the webbing on the egg sac can be amazing now at the moment, uh, that bug, yeah, here it comes around here now. And this is crazy, look, I'm just learning to use this boroscope. Uh, and the best part about it is, it's screen. I'm just looking at this amazing screen, giving me this really good image, and I can see what's going on, clearly. There's a plane flying overhead, you can probably hear that. It does record audio which I've also look I'm just testing this thing and I, I'm just I'm just seeing um, just crazy stuff really oh, that that beetle is just humping into the egg sac look at that it's cutting into the web I'll tell you what and Barbie is just still spraying out web here trying to contain that beetle, let's get back down to the barbie here like we're seeing this in a totally different light now 
completely different perspective. It's like we're down there. It's just crazy to witness. Crazy. And I'm just going to go back to the beetle here. I've always got to, you know, I'm just thinking about where am I poking this. I'm looking at a screen and I've just got to really keep thinking about that every movement I make is a dramatic movement where the, the camera is. It's a big learning process for me just to get my head around how to do this. At the moment, probably, Barbie's probably doing a bit of Bitarooni's, I'd say. But uh, look at the egg sac there. Man. I don't know what to say. I've really never seen anything like this. Never seen anything like it. It's a, just amazing. Oh, look at the web. Really, look how much web is around that beetle now. There's more web being sprayed out by Barbie. Completely crazy. And remember, I'm I'm just testing out this this ball camera okay I'll have all the details in the video about this and the moment it's, it's lent to me I'm gonna buy one I'm completely sold completely sold it's just a, such a useful tool it's a very nice thing to, to have in the hand and I love the screen on it it's a very intuitive thing to use because I never read the instructions I just dove straight in the LED illumination setting I've got on the boroscope is actually the lowest setting. You can have much brighter than this. It's actually designed... Well, it's used for other things. I'm not going to say a trigger word. There's a clue there of what it's used for. I'm just going to... Yeah, maybe follow the link. The sale link. And you can see what it's all about. I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm having a totally new perspective on critter world with this completely new perspective and it's nice for the fact it records audio I'm not exactly sure how good audio I haven't I haven't put a video together yet I've just looked at clips Man, is that going to be bite a rooney time like I sort of say it's never the I love bite it's the kiss of death totally crazy and that egg sack, I tell you what, it's looking extremely second hand. Totally second hand now. Barbie is now, she's not actually worried about this boroscope camera. She's far more interested in uh, trying to contain that beetle. And man, she has been busy with web, I tell you. Nice noisy motorbike going past then. I may have to put some filters on to get rid of the low resonance sounds. Okay, well. It's, oh no, the egg, look at that, the egg sacs opened up. Egg sacs destroyed. I've never ever seen anything like this. Look at that. Egg sac is destroyed. Okay, that, that was egg sac number nine. Egg sac number nine is down. Egg sac number nine is down. And I haven't got my little book here, I can't tell you. It was only, look, it was only laid up a few days back, so. Crazy. Completely and utterly critterific, spiderific crazy. Never seen anything like it in this perspective. Okay, well, I'll just, um, I'll just let Barbie be and she's going to tidy this up, I'm sure. Please forgive me for the, um, the wayward video I am on my L's learning how to use the the boroscope I've got a a little way of controlling it I think we've seen enough and I know you probably want to say well we want to see it right to the bitter end but um I'm pretty sure Barbie's not going to let let go there or stop until she's got control of the critter and exact number nine is down I'm a fairly curious person. I had to have another look. This is about another hour on, I think. It's starting to get dark. The sun's starting to set. The beetle looks like it's completely down and out. There's no movement there. So they say the venom has taken effect. Uh, the egg sac has been ripped apart. It's destroyed. And what is very curious is Barbie is actually 
eating some of the eggs. I saw her with an egg in her jaws there and she's basically getting a feed from that egg sack that she generated a few days ago. I'm hearing a plane above me. They're rare things during 2020. Oh crikey, it's just all over the shop in here, completely and utterly all over the shop. And there's um, one last look at that beetle down and out and it's going to be a feed for Barbie. There's a nice perspective of Barbie like we've never ever seen her before. Look at that, she's kissing towards the camera. Totally and utterly amazing. This is the next day and of course I'm curious to see what Barbie was doing after what happened late yesterday evening. Uh, she has just been there feeding on the beetle. Uh, she's a bit aroused because obviously I'm down here. I've actually got the boroscope set to the maximum LEDs lights on it because I'm actually shooting in daylight although I'm not letting sun go down inside Barbie's home here. There she is, she's waving at us in a strange spidery way. But uh, we'll just take a look at the beetle. There it is there. I'm actually starting to really understand how to control this very small boroscope. Okay, so I can go back up the beetle there. I'm wondering whether she'll go back to feeding or maybe she'll have a bit of a go at the boroscope and I am looking at the wonderful screen on this device to to keep it as sharp as possible. It's one of these things if I go in close like that you start to lose focus on Barbie but you might see the back of her a bit clearer and if I pull it out a bit you'll start to see the front of her clearer but it's really important to have a good screen and a way of holding uh, the very small camera as well um, you know, this is the third day of me playing with this device that's lent to me and I'm, I'm learning a lot. Oh crikey, I don't like it when she moves that fast and I'm, I'm this close. Uh, it's been a big learning experience for me, but I'll tell you what, it's, I've, I've seen stuff um, like I've never seen before. Looks like she's going back to feeding. I'm, I'm surprised she's not more upset by the... LEDs on the end of the boroscope she she seems to be getting quite comfortable with this the very first day when I played with this before I had a really good way of controlling the camera she just saw this as a bug and wanted to basically spray it with web it was amazing to see it was like a bug's eye view of being taken out by redback but it looks like she'll be going back to feeding there totally different perspective of um, what goes on in Barbie's spider home here and again there's the, the beetle again just change the angle of the dangle a bit coming in on the rear end of Barbie there she's getting larger on the back side that means there's another egg sac developing there well she ate one last night and she's there in feeding mode and we're seeing feeding mode in a very different way yeah, just um, hopefully seeing stuff like we've never seen it before. Spectacular way to, to look how these spiders operate. Okay, now she's moving up this way. There's a bit of daylight there poking down around, so we're getting a bit of a silhouette of her. Now she's, uh, she's darting off now. She's probably had enough of me tinkering with her spidery home, let her go, eh? Before she gets any more annoyed. I'm thinking the wonderment of what you could point this ball camera at would be endless. It's so small, I'm sure it could carefully go down and inspect inside an ant nest. But maybe seeing the horrors of a leopard slug eating a garden snail up close is something that we really need to investigate further. Maybe this is why redback spiders tend to ignore the garden slugs that 
can sometimes hang around their spider nests. It can be addictive getting caught up and wanting to see things up close all the time, but I'm sort of thinking that maybe this is a fantastic additional tool to have when I'm taking a look at Critter World and the spiders around the garden. And shooting Barbie the Redback Spider is quite tricky. The depth of field of focus is very narrow. Barbie is always moving around on her spider web. And what I'm finding is the more I use this bore camera to look at Barbie the Redback Spider, the more I understand how to control the bore camera to get some really nice shots. It was so nice to play with something that was so awesome straight out of the box.